You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. This investigation is now examining how high-ranking intel officials literally were outsourcing what is politically motivated dirty work to spy agencies in friendly countries clearly to circumvent American laws and the civil liberties of the American citizens and used in an effort to rig a presidential election. That is now how deep this possibly goes. That would mean people like Comey and Brennan and Clapper may want to pay close Mr. attention. Engineer, because Mr. Engineer, uh, Sean, on one of my first appearances on Alex Jones, um, my statement to Alex and one of the reasons why he called me to his massive audience was that I stated that Obama would never leave the presidency. I stated that once elected, and this was back in 2008, that Obama would never leave the presidency. Let me tell you why I'm saying this to you, Sean Hannity, as you're now concocting this so-called deep state. I was saying that once Obama got the power of the presidency, that he would be able to manipulate it in such a way as that he would have a third term like Roosevelt and even a fourth term like Roosevelt. And according to James Carville, that Democrats would be, in the book that James Carville wrote, that Democrats would be in power for 40 years, that Republicans would never gain power again after the Obama event. And Sean, Sean Hannity, and, the, and Alex Jones' audience, they were riveted at what I was saying regarding the fact that Obama would never leave the presidency because if he, had, if he wanted to, he could manipulate. And even if Obama made the decision, Sean, because this deep state lie, this is nothing more than a lie that you and your delusional people are concocting, but that those words might be very aggressive and offensive to you. But let me say this to you in a logical way that when I said that on Alex Jones broadcast that Obama would never leave the presidency because he'd have the power to create a mechanism within the government that would give him the continual power throughout a third and a fourth term. And, it, and that was true, but he did not. What he did, however, was use that power to put Hillary Jezebel, I refer to her, Clinton into power. Now listen to this very carefully, uh, Sean. If there was a deep state, if there was a secret cabal of people, of officers, administrators, and political types, and if you will, financial types within the American government, during the time of which you are saying this deep state operated against, is operating against tribulation Trump, then Trump would have never won the presidency, you damn fool, you. You damn fool, Sean Hannity. If there was a deep state, if there was, if Obama was running a deep state, do you think he would have let a casino owner, a coochie grabber, a public degenerate, a disgrace before man and God? Do you think if Obama was running a deep state, and if he was running a deep state, and Trump was able to overcome the deep state, then how ineffective is the deep state? The deep state ain't what do do. I mean, Sean Hannity, are you, you, you sicko. You are a sick. You need mental health. You need to check yourself into Bellevue Hospital, boy. I mean, here you are spewing these lies out to these rednecks that there's a deep state. Sean, if there was a deep state, Obama would have never let Trump get anywhere near the presidency, you idiot, you. You idiot. And then you got these idiots out there listening to you spew this lie. Oh, deep state. I'm not declaring that Obama was clean. Hell, I sacrificed my life to go against him, to oppose him. I'm not here supporting Obama. I'm not here supporting him or Hillary. I'm here supporting the truth for America. Sean, you are lying. You are a sick man, Sean Hannity. You need to get psychological help. You need to see a psychiatrist. And the psychiatrist need to be one who is schooled in a new phenomena 
among Japheth of white people who see themselves for the first time in nearly 2,000 years losing white power, that the brown and the black people on planet Earth are taking over. And that is what has got you and all your listeners every night so afraid of. But Trump can't save you. Unbelievable. Sean, you need to take a break and go see a psychiatrist and pray that the better angels and the good nature of humanity itself because as long as you keep spewing and twisting lies every night, the way you're spewing and twisting lies, Sean, you're not going to give any daylight to truth, Sean. You're standing in the way of helping the coal miners of West Virginia. You're standing in the way and helping the manufacturers and factory workers of Ohio. You're standing in the way and helping the, 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 the pig farmers in Iowa and the wheat and corn growers in Nebraska. You're standing in the way of a ray of light and truth. You are blocking the opportunity for them to hear the truth. Fox News is a bastion and array of lies that is keeping truth and light from flowing into Arkansas to flowing into Tennessee to Georgia and to Texas, South Carolina. You are blocking the truth. You are spewing and you are consuming with false teaching and twisted lies. You're keeping the people from what they potentially can get. And they need to wake up and turn you off and get down on their knees, in their homes, at their kitchen tables. Turn off Fox News. Go to your kitchen table. Go to your secret closet. Pull out your King James Bible and ask God to help you, white people. Ask God to help you. Ask the Lord to have mercy on you. But you got this demon and this Fox News that's blocking the light of God, blocking the truth from reaching you. And all Sean wants to do, in fact, he's not even in this for money. He is delusional. He is a psychopath. His hatred and rage against black and brown people has colored the very essence of who he is. He doesn't even know what he's saying now. He can't help you. Get your Bible. Don't turn the fox in West Virginia. Don't turn the fox out there in Ohio. You, you can't win. Trump is a liar. You pig farmers, you wheat farmers, you people that make your living off the land, you people who make your living through manufacturing, turn from Fox and turn from Trump and turn to Jesus. Call on the name of the Lord. You need Jesus. You don't need Sean Hannity. The man is a psychopath. You don't need Trump. He's a psychopath. Turn back to Jesus, white America. Turn back to Jesus and ask him. Have mercy. Ask him. Have mercy on you. Because mercy suits your case. This deep state business. Let me recap. If Obama had a deep state, <laughs> Trump would have never won the presidency. Don't you understand? That's the purpose of the deep state. You don't have a deep state that a hump de dump the casino on a coochie grabber like Trump can overpower this so-called massive long-standing cabal of a deep state that Trump and a handful of people were able to overthrow the deep state of the American illegal government. Come on, people, don't go, don't be a damn fool all your life. Come on, white people, come on, white people, don't be fools. Don't be fools all your life. <laughs> if, if Obama had a deep state, Hillary would be president. And that's just all the, the power of the deep state would have put her in. The power of the courts would have put her in. Obama ain't had no deep state. He didn't have to. He was running against a scallywag. Who the hell? Obama 
Trump was a scallywag. Every leading Republican in the Republican caucus, Mitt Romney, Paul Ryan, Ted Cruz, Mike Bloomberg, all called Trump a con man, a scallywag. They didn't have a snowball's chance in hell against a deep state. Come on, Sean, stop lying to these people. Stop hurting the people in West Virginia. Stop hurting the people in South Carolina. Stop lying. Sean, stop, sure, stop lying to these people and let them grab their Bibles again. And go back to Jesus. Never seen anything like this. This is absolutely incredible. But the truth of the matter is that there is a closure of white power. There is. There is a closure of white power descending on America. And Sean, there ain't nothing you or nobody you know can do it. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon. Uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be like led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the man report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning, and I'm here to serve you with news and information.